Amy Griffiths is a coach and defensive captain for the Northampton Phantoms flag football team. Hi, Amy. Hiya. I have no idea even what flag football is. Oh, I, to be fair, when I started playing, I had no idea either. So I went in with not a clue. <laughs> OK, tell us uh, what it is. It's, um, it's a non-contact form of um, American football. OK. So rather than obviously tackling people, you pull flags. I guess a bit like tag rugby. So... Um, and it works out that it's five a side, so you always have to play it's five a side rather than the big teams. Um, and you, but you still have your offence, your defence, like you would with a normal American football. OK, so if you say you pull flags, do you have flags attached to your body? Yeah, they're like a, on a bait, uh, belt around your waist. OK. So they're sticking out on your hips, so obviously when you run past people, they can grab them, and that's essentially you tackled then, so... Right. What, so, so, okay, I'm just trying to get my head around it. So what yeah. are the first things then that people need to know, apart from the fact that you need to grab people's flags, which sounds like the worst kind of euphemism, if you ask me, but there you go. <laughs> no, um, well, to be fair, when you turn up, like, if you can play offence or defence. Offence is your aim is to get down the pitch and score a touchdown. Yeah. So you have your four attempts to get halfway and you've got another four attempts to get into your end zone to have a touchdown. So that involves catching the ball and then running. And then you've got your defensive side of the ball, whereas we have to stop the offence getting to that end zone to get a touchdown. So right. that's when we have to tackle them. OK. Is it easy to pick so, up? Yeah, definitely. I didn't have a clue when I first started. I didn't know anything about the game. I didn't know anything about American football at all. Um, and... I picked it up pretty quickly, so anyone can play. You don't have to be sporty, That'll you'll pick that up as well. There's places in the team for anybody, so... What made you get involved, Amy, if you didn't know anything about um, American football? Well, I went to watch a game, and I thought, oh, so this is quite interesting. And uh, so I started going down to training, and now I'm trying to boss people around and get people involved. So it's just, it's fun as well. Like, you've got the elements of American football, so people enjoy that but without, obviously, the contact and the pain and the getting hurt as well, so... Mm. So is it a good introduction to American football in that case? Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Um, oh, the rules are very similar, so if you can pick up flag rules, then obviously you can definitely pick up the contact rules. Mm. Um, but a lot of people would obviously prefer to play flag over contact just... So you don't get injured. Because well, well, I've watched um, some Super Bowl games uh, when I haven't been yeah. able to sleep when the Super Bowl's been on. <laughs> and my goodness me, they're violent towards each other, aren't they? Yeah, no, it's, um, it does look, obviously, probably a lot worse than maybe it is when you're on the pitch. But this is just why people, a lot of them people play flags so they can have that fun, have the same elements, but then don't have to worry about getting hit. Do, so. you, do you wear the same sort of kit as American footballers? We don't wear any of the pads or the helmet, no, we just wear t-shirt and shorts, really, yeah, then your flags, so... Because I guess you don't need to, because you're not, you're not being um, flattened by, yeah, by somebody yet. who's six foot eight and 20 stone. Yeah, no, they, um, there's a, like, a very strict rule on contact, like, they are very, like, there is no contact in this, it's just to keep people safe at the end of the day, so, because we don't want people getting injured. Now, I'll be honest, when I have watched American football, I, t I didn't understand what on earth was going on because the rules are quite complicated, aren't they? Yeah, and I think as well with, obviously, normal contact American football, there's a lot of people on the pitch, so everyone's doing something different and you can't necessarily find out what's going on, but with flag, you've only ever got your five asides, there's only ever ten people, so you'll have your five going down to score their touchdown and five of them trying to stop them, so... OK. And are there many flag football teams in the country? There's loads, yeah. There's, um, yeah, they're all over. There's teams as far as Scotland, there's teams up north, there's obviously around our area, there's teams, um, Wales have got teams, yeah, there's, it's a really big growing sport now, so mm. people are really starting to get into it. Is it, um, it, is it a summer sport or a winter sport? Our season runs, which actually it's just started, to be fair, we had our last game last weekend. OK. Um, and ours, it'll run till probably August time, so we play over the summer, um, which is always handy because it's nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true enough, but running about in the heat can get a bit poof. Yeah, no, yeah, you just have to obviously try and account for that. There has been days where it's been far too hot to be running around, but you just stick with it. Yeah. So. And are you the only team in Northamptonshire? Um, no, there is another team in Northampton. Um, there's two of us. There's also 
a team down in Aylesbury. Um, there's a couple in Coventry. So there's, there's lots of teams in very close proximity to us at the minute. So, What sort of commitment do you need from people if they're thinking about maybe coming and joining you? Um, to be honest, like if, with the Phantoms, we just want people to come along on a Sunday, have some fun, just be dedicated. If you, like, We don't expect people to be superstar athletes. We just want people to have, come and have fun, be dedicated <laughs> and just be like, just want to play. Like You need to want to run around for three hours on a Sunday and give up your time to do it. So, Is that how long games are, three hours? Oh, no, we just train for three hours. Okay. Game, it's a two 20-minute halves that works out at, so... Oh, well, that's not so bad then, is it? Yeah, no, it's not... And because, obviously, you have your offence and your defence, you're constantly swapping on and off the pitch, so you're not obviously running around for the full 40 minutes. That's why it's quite good for people wanting to get into sport, because it's not like a like a normal football match. We'd be running around for 90 minutes and that's it, so... So you get to come off and have a breather, basically? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so when, when I'm too tired, I, I go off and I go have a five-minute break while someone else takes over for me, so... D- has it got you fit, Amy? Oh, no, definitely, yeah. No, it's... Because uh, we train, what, for three hours on a Sunday and then during the summer as well, we train during the week, so it's a good six hours a week of football. So because we don't only play games, we do drills, we do different, um, like, exercises, so just to help us improve for the game. Fantastic. And how can people find out more about you? Um, North Hans Phantoms, we're on Facebook and we're on Twitter. So if you're interested, just give the team a message. Um, as I said, our season starts now, but we're still welcoming new players. Anyone who wants to come give it a try if, like, and wants to come along on a Sunday and just see what we're all about, they're more than welcome. So. Great stuff. Nice to talk to you. Thank you. Amy Griffiths, coach and defensive captain for the Northampton Phantoms flag football team. Uh, thank you to you as well for your...